So I gotta tell you, I'm probably gonna take some major heat for this video. However, the fact does remain, we have a major cruise ship in the room to address. Uh, that's why I decided to wear something comfortable. For the show that we're probably gonna see in the comment section after this video, some things are gonna be directed at me, some things are gonna be directed at other people, However, I do believe this topic does need to be talked about. But before we begin, I do have to put a big, huge, massive cruise ship size trigger warning out there. I'm going to be talking about some things that are, well, realistic, very straightforward. And it's a topic that a lot of people have thought about, but they probably can't say anything about it because, well, a lot of them aren't black. However, I am. So I figured I address something that I've been seeing quite frequently in the comment section when it comes to these I guess a fight series videos that have been popping up here on cruise ships in recent weeks. So lately there have been video recordings of scraps, fights, fisty cups going on on board cruise ships. Three in particular. We saw a fight on board the Carnival Magic. It was about uh, allegedly 60 people and it was due to a threesome that I guess didn't work out because somebody was in a relationship or whatever. Either way, it turns out that cruise wasn't so magical, at least for that particular moment at the end of the cruise. Then we had an issue on Navigator of the Seas. I guess they couldn't navigate themselves through a great and amazing problem-free vacation. And finally, we had something on the Carnival Elation. I can't think of something for Elation. They all need more than a citation, the people that were fighting. And when it comes to these videos that I've been putting out, I have seen a ridiculous amount of hate speech and very nasty comments. And let's be fair too, some comments were also justified depending on how you look at the context of it all. And all of these fights did involve, well, black people. So in the comment section, usually you'll see something like, oh, well, the usual suspects, or it's always the same demographic. And one comment that stood out to me in particular, which honestly I couldn't find, I, it was like a week and a half ago, and I don't know, I, I don't have the tedious uh, mindset to sit there and shift through literally thousands of comments and try to find one, but it was somebody that said that black people shouldn't cruise. So before I circle to the main points that I want to bring up in this video, I think it goes without saying that I am obviously a black man, at least uh, last time I checked, and I happen to cruise for a living, or I do a lot of vacations for a living, as most of you know, and I myself have to deal with a lot of backlash for things that I may say, or honestly, just for being who I am and based off of what I look like. People will say that I am too poor to cruise, that if I fell off a cruise ship, I wouldn't be able to swim. You guys have no idea the stuff that I go through this being who I am, but I'm not trying to make this a victim situation because I believe, honestly, that's part of the problem. I know who I am. I know the world is not fair. I know the world is not kind. This is just the reality. And when it comes to these situations, when I see comments of people trying to generalize an entire demographic of people, honestly, to me, it is downright sad. Now, to give all of you some examples that may or may not be relatable to you, it's like putting a blanket order or saying on the fact that all Americans are sloppy and fat, that all Jewish people are greedy for money, that everybody over here in Mexico, where I am now, is part of the cartel and they want to cut your head off. Which, by the way, I have videos coming out on my other channel talking about these particular topics. I'm in Mexico right now and I have been welcomed with open arms. I haven't had a single problem. In fact, I'm treated better here than I am in the United States. But you get my point here. They'll say that uh, white people are just trying to take over or whatever the case is and they're trying to keep the black man down. Now, that's what I'm saying when it comes to generalizing everyone. When it comes to these fights in particular, has it been mainly black people that have been causing these disturbances? Yes. Can you put it in the category of well, maybe it's a bunch of people acting ignorant and these are on cheaper cruises and they don't have money. Yes, a lot of these things that people are thinking about in the right context are justified. However, when it comes to people trying to say that one type of person based off of the color of their skin should not cruise is again sad, it's disrespectful, it's hurtful, and it makes a lot of people feel uneasy. However, there is some truth to the situation. And I don't mean the fact that black people shouldn't cruise. 
What I'm saying is that even amongst myself and other black people when we go out, we always say sometimes that black people just don't know how to act. And the reality is a lot of us, myself included, we come from, well, very humble beginnings. A lot of people are coming from trauma. A lot of people are coming from situations where vacationing and cruising is not something they've ever really done. And if they have, they've only done it once. And when they are spending money, they feel like they're entitled. And unfortunately, it turns into a lot of aggression, a lot of anger. And if something should happen, you have people that turn the altercation physical. And this is why we get the situations that we get. However, that does not make this any of this an excuse for how black people are acting or anybody that's ignorant is acting on board cruise ships, especially in these recent fights that we've seen over the past couple weeks between these three cruise ships. The reality is as well, it's not always black people. I know these recordings will make it seem that way. And yes, when there is a situation, a lot of times it will be people of, let's say, uh, darker skin tone, unfortunately, that these situations happen with. But me, as a former crew member working on board cruise ships, I gotta tell you that every fight that I saw, which was about uh, seven or eight, involved uh, white people. Well, there was a light-skinned guy. He was mixed. He was half white, half black. So I guess there's half a point on the other end. But my point is, it doesn't matter your race. Sometimes when people come from humble beginnings, maybe they are poor, if that's how you want to call it, if you want me to be straightforward about it. Some of them just don't know how to conduct themselves in a normal society. And usually, let's say people like me, a lot of times we come from humble beginnings to the point to where a lot of people just don't know how to handle certain situations. Just to give you another example, because it's not just 100% a black thing. I'm a break dancer, right? And a lot of my friends, we come from no money, no opportunities. Our family didn't grow up taking a vacation twice a year. So when it came to us eventually becoming professional break dancers and doing shows on board cruise ships with the Harlem Globetrotters like I did, unfortunately, they didn't know how to conduct themselves because you went from living in poverty and maybe a, uh, a neighborhood that is not very great to all of a sudden seeing this blue water and vacationing and, you know, and just being able to have a beautiful time in a beautiful place. But the fact will remain that you are still that same person. So you got a lot of people that don't know how to be professional. They don't know how to conduct themselves in public and they don't know how to act even if they are supposed to be having the time of their lives. Now, once again, I do want to be very clear because I know some people are going to try to twist this video into making me like some anti-black or I'm going to hear the term Uncle Tom or whatever the case is based off of the way that I speak. And that's something that I've been dealing with from both white, black, Puerto Rican, it doesn't matter. I hear from people all the time that because of the way that I speak and the way that I conduct myself and because I'm traveling and scuba diving and swimming that I am white or I'm acting white, which is not true. I believe that some people can just simply be educated even though I didn't go to college. I do read a lot of books. I try to educate myself to the best of my ability and I had speaking problems when I was younger. So I had to take speech classes and lo and behold, the woman that teached me just happened, taught me, <laughs> happened to be white and here is my voice. But it's sad when I hear people trying to once again put a blanket order over a bunch of demographics or just a demographic as a whole. But let's get down to the facts. Do black people need to do better? Yes, I can say that. And even if somebody gets offended by this, that is true. However, again, you have people in neighborhoods where a lot of people in those neighborhoods don't really come from money, whether it be a trailer park, I've lived in that, whether it be the hood, I lived in that. It just depends on where you go, okay? And it doesn't matter your skin tone. Unfortunately, you know, you have black people or a white people or whatever that vacation for the first time and they come from an impoverished area and they just simply do not know how to conduct themselves. Now, I could talk about this topic literally forever, but I do want to make it clear, I'm just not some that runs around yelling black lives matter or anything of that nature black proud I know who I am I'm comfortable with my skin I'm proud to be a black man but I don't put this type of uh, vibe out to the point to where I feel like I have to remind everybody that I'm a black man and I should be treated with respect and blah 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 I believe at the end of the day that people that should be treated with respect are the ones that are treating other people with respect and are the ones that are being presentable professional when the time calls for it even if it's on vacation and you want to leave your brain in the car, you should still have some common sense. But we also know that common sense is not common. 
Now, I am going to leave this video right here because I do want to hear all of your opinions. I'm not going to disable the comments or anything like that. I would just say, guys, please do your best to keep all of this civil because I look at this kind of stuff. And for me, again, as a black man, it does give me some type of idea of what the vibe overall is. And we're going to see some nasty things in this comment section. A lot of things are going to be directed at me for even speaking on this topic or me for not fully protecting and, and, and talking proudly about black people. Guys, I just look at reality. Do black people need to do better? Yes. Do white people need to do better? Yes. Do Hispanic people, Asian? It doesn't matter. Everybody needs to do better at the end of the day and learn how to conduct themselves accordingly when you are out in public. You know what? Not even in public, just in life in general. And for the people that are running around playing the victim, because that is also part of the problem. Some people just don't want to get out of that mindset and build themselves up. And I also want to remind you for those that have not watched my videos, I've been very transparent. I come from a very, very poor family. I've lived in a car three, three different separate occasions, and I don't forget where I come from, but that doesn't give me an excuse to act ignorant everywhere I go. I'm thankful for the opportunities that I have here, and I will continue to push forward because I think it's important, and me as a black man, the reality is it's a good representation on what people can do that look like me when it's not the norm or the status quo. I don't play basketball. I don't rap. I dance. So. You know what I mean? I'm a break dancer. So I guess that that can go into the stereotype. But but what I'm saying is, guys, at the end of the day, people just learn need to learn how to do better. Stop judging other people and then taking those one off situations and trying to categorize it as a whole. But either way, guys, just know that I love each and every one of you. I just believe this topic needed to be addressed because I'm tired of seeing it in the comment section. And well, there is only so many vloggers that can really sit down and talk about this particular subject. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm actually getting ready to go on a, a submarine over here in Cozumel, and I'm so excited. I can't wait. I love you guys. I appreciate all of you, and I'll see you later. Take it easy.